it has been a big saga to try and get these screws out of the old hatch because of their very peculiar shapes. Must have been an industry thing to um, <laughs> for professionals to use, but not easy for me. So I've been using um, a little ratchet with a T10. Here we are. We're finally ready to remove the old hatch. Woof. Well, not quite ready because I've still got to somehow take that screw off as well. Okay, so the hatch is turning out to be quite a saga because um, a lot of the screw heads are unusual. So I'm having to kind of surmise what, what bit to use. Um, and I think that one's not square enough. So it's, if I complete this project, it'll be quite an achievement because um, at every point there seems to be another challenge. Okay, so this afternoon's job was to remove these uh, little screws from the top of the hatch, which I have just done. So, as a courier just arrives. Yeah, so removing the vent, um, the hatch, whatever the terminology is, has um, proven to be quite a fiddly job just because I haven't had the right um, screw heads. So uh, they must use sort of professional, or they must be designed so that amateurs can't fiddle with the um, equipment. So I don't know what I've got let myself in for, um, but tomorrow's job, now that the screws are out, is to actually remove the hatch, which means removing all of the sealant around it, cleaning it up, and um, then, <laughs> then hoping, like hell, the, um, the new vent actually fits. Not a flattering angle, but I just had some success because I've been able to remove this on top of the um, the winder. So now I should be able to remove ah, yeah. I intended. I was struggling. I could not work out how to detach the winder um, and that meant that I couldn't pull the frame off. So I've resorted to brute force and a broken surround. So now I'm really committed because <laughs> it's broken.
So I have now removed all of the sealant um, and muck from the old from the old vent. So this is what we're looking at now, nice and clean. Um, so the next part is to clean the inside and um, then start to look at actually fitting the um, the new hatch. So we'll see. Just facing a slight panic now that um, the, the new one doesn't quite fit into the space. So I'm going to have to work out exactly how it can drop in. Um, I've just had a panicked call to uh, the caravan repair place and it's coming up on Easter. They've closed down for a few weeks. So um, the fact that this is not watertight and I haven't garaged it means that I've got to find a solution and I have to find a solution today. Okay, so at the moment, the opening for the hatch on the rooftop is a fraction too small. So um, that's gonna be the challenge. So um, I've just been on the phone to the caravan experts and um, got an appointment for a few days away. So. At the moment, I don't think, I'm, I'm not com confident enough to start filing the roof down um, to fit this. So it looks like I'll just have to make it watertight and then hand it over to the experts on Tuesday for, uh, for them to weave their, their magic. father is now on the roof he's making a score in fiberglass because we think that maybe that we'll be able to resize it and we've also got an angle grinder um, which might shave off the millimeters that are standing between us and success All right, well, it's good to have the uh, new hatch in, at least on top, because that means that um, it's weatherproofed for a night of heavy dew expected. Um, and so tomorrow is about putting the sealant in and also securing it from the base. So <laughs> it looks precarious at one point, but um, I'm pretty thrilled with where we are at right now. After a frustrating morning, my father and I have managed to finally fit the base and the um, hatch roof so that they meet, which is <laughs> a very exciting thing. So now just battling the conditions, trying to get watertight before um, any shower activity, which means I've got the cork gun and about to apply that around the, um, the roof before going inside and screwing the base again.
patch complete and what a job it has been so probably I don't know how many hours I've spent on this but um, it's good to have it finally done uh, what will I say about this job most of the YouTube clips I was um, reviewing prior to getting the courage to um, to even uh, try this were about new hatch installs so new new vans cutting a hole in the roof and um, inserting the new hatch this is a retrofit so this is fitting a new hatch into an existing space and conceptually that should be simple but in reality it has its own problems because particularly if you're talking about different brands um, it's the workmanship's different so whoever cut the orig original hole was obviously fitting it to that specification and you know the l little wiggle room and whatever they needed to do so when it came to fitting this new hatch um, we were all we were actually up against um, up against it so it was a more fiddly exercise the thing I will say is that um, it's it is for large portions of this task a two-person job so whilst I could do all of the removal of the existing hatch and the cleanup by myself as soon as it came to fitting the the top and the base that's really a two-person job because there's a lot of um, I guess trying coordination coordinating whether the two were aligning and so I was very lucky to have my father on hand to um, to help me with that as well as the angle grinder to reshape the um, the space so that was a tool that I'd never used and um, I was glad to be witness to it rather than the one responsible so wow what a task um, super wrapped that it's done very pleased to have embarked on this and that it has been resolved before the forecast rain um, and it's the biggest job by far that I've undertaken with this um, this RV so yeah that's the satisfaction f from doing your own work on your own RV I think um, very pleased Thank <laughs> you.